There are silver eagles, and then there are silver eagles. And the conversation of is, what is the most elusive one of them all? And the first thing we're going to go to is, well, they only made 30,000 of that S enhanced reverse proof. 30,000. But in 70, we know there's give or take 10,000 that are out there in existence. And it's the Holy Grail. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful coin. I love it. It's also a $3,500 to $4,000 price point. The difference is elusive. What can I not find? What have I not seen? We've talked about unk. We've talked about proof. We talk about the burnished, right? The 17 different coins. Well, there's actually 18 of them. The rarest of them all is up next. And to start with this conversation, just a simple statement of, this is the first time we've talked about this coin since 2019. Yeah, we're in 2024 today. The last time we had this coin available on the air. And the reason why is it's a bit confusing. No, it's not. In 2011, we had a big run on silver, and we also celebrated our 25th anniversary. Two independent topics. Do not cross them. They should not be crossed. They had a San Francisco Mint uncirculated issue that was struck at the San Francisco Mint. First time ever. Parentheses S. No mint mark. Right? Love the coin. Great coin. Great story. But then there is the Holy Grail that is inside of the five-piece set they made for our 25th anniversary. Remember in 2006 we had the 20th anniversary? So in 2011 is our 25th anniversary. And they made a coin, this coin, only in this set. They capped it at 100,000 and they've never made it again. Now, every year without fail, we talk about the burnished or satin finished, the same thing. And there are 17 of them that were made since 2006. They're all double use. This is the S, the only S. So they made 100,000 sets, and the only way to get this coin is to break up a five piece set. And over the last decade plus, there's been a few that have been broken up. Because we're all chasing this coin, and we're all hoping to get this grade. Now, when I first started talking about this coin, we talked about the recent Holy Grail. The one we always go to, that is a San Francisco coin. And that is the 2019 S Enhanced Reverse Proof. 30,000 made, but the significant thing about modern coins and the techniques of striking them, which means perfection is more frequent, is how many made 70? How many are perfect? And in this case, with the 23S enhanced reverse proof, and technology being what it is, and we know that give or take 30% is a normal 70 range, 30,000 coins made, 10,000 coins made 70, ding, 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 that's it. 3,500 to $4,000 price because of how few of them there are. This one has a different story. There is a W enhanced reverse proof that was made earlier in 2023. There is no other S burnished. Or in this case, we call it satin finished, the same terminology. There is no other. This is only one. It was part of a 100,000 set. Are you ready for how many 70s are known to exist? I can't hold it back any longer because it's like, wow. And then the price, wow. As of today, PCGS's website, and again, this is the S uncirculated, not the S struck at the San Francisco Mint. That has parentheses, no mint mark. This is S mint mark. 9,606. So when you compare S's, this one is rarer than that one.
This one with us tonight is $399. That one, $3,500. This one's rarer. That one, kind of close. $3,000 plus more. So when I referenced earlier, first time we've had these available since 2019 here on the airwaves at America's Value Channel, AVC. Not kidding. We do not find this coin. Because whoever got lucky and made one, or has one, doesn't want to give it up. Let me take one more second to explain the S, right? These are known as the S mint mark uncirculated. It's just like the W mint mark uncirculated. The government officially calls it burnished. The nickname in the industry is satin finish. Because if you use Allison's paint analogy to explain our silver eagles, it kind of fits perfectly. Regular paint is uncirculated. Glossy paint are proofs. But in paint, we have this thing called satin finish. Kind of looks like regular flat, but it's not. Kind of like a little patina on it. And they call it satin finish. And now in the industry, we actually nickname these coins satin finish. Thank you, Allison. The formal name is burnished, but the key is it has an S mint mark on the coin. In 2011, which happens to be the corresponding same year, San Francisco helped out with uncirculated coins. None of our unks, our bullion coins, are mint marked ever, but they marked the boxes from the San Francisco mint. So they were struck at the San Francisco mint with no mint mark, parentheses. These are S's, no parentheses. Mint mark here, only one here. Guys, give me a 30 second clock. So hopefully I get to talk to you about this one before 2030, again. But on the other hand, I don't have control over that, nor do you, we know that, right? When a coin shows up, we grab it, and hopefully it's the right timing. All I'm telling you is this. My competition sells the same coin you're looking at, for $4.99. That is, by the way, a really good price. We're $100 less than that. And they call that the AVC way. So how about this holy grail, everyone? This one, this short seven, eight minute conversation, special. Time to be moving on.